morning. Uh, thanks for being with us today. Uh, today is uh, March the 25th, and this is uh, a devotional time that we're uh, working on today. And um, one of the uh, disciplines or uh, whatever you want to call this, some people call it devotional, some people call it a quiet time, but uh, one of the things that uh, Pam and I do is to read a proverb of the day. And uh, so we use the proverb of the calendar. And, um, and so yesterday um, was obviously March the 24th. And there's a scripture uh, that I want to share and uh, talk with you about just for a couple of moments here. It is found in Proverbs chapter 24. And... Uh, uh, and I'm sorry, excuse me, it's today's Proverbs. It's Proverbs 25 and verse 28. And uh, this, is, this is what the scripture reads. It says, like a city whose walls are broken down is a man who lacks self-control. In our setting today, uh, we don't think about walls protecting us like the early Bible days. Every city in the Old Testament and New Testament, too, had walls that would uh, surround the city, and it would keep their enemies away from them. Um, it was their, what you we would say, their military. It was their way of uh, being safe and protecting themselves. And so without a wall around your city... You were just inviting danger. You were inviting uh, the enemies to come and invade and take uh, uh, your your goods and plunder your home. And, uh, and so the scripture says, like a city whose walls are broken down is a man who lacks self-control. Self-control is the last fruit of the Holy Spirit. Uh, it is an ability that God gives us to uh, help manage our life, uh, sometimes in tense situations. Uh, the Lord will speak to our hearts and he'll say uh, to us, or he'll, the feeling will come to us, he'll say, well, uh, you've said enough, or you need to get out of this situation, or he just kind of troubles our heart and speaks to our mind and says to us, uh, uh, back away or back off or something needs to change here. So self-control is the ability really of controlling yourself. And in every part of our life, we need control of ourselves. And I was thinking, especially in this weeks or that we're going to probably be shut in in our homes. A uh, lot of stuff going on, a lot of things that uh, the news is telling us and rumors and, and different things. We need to control what goes into our mind. We need to control what goes into our heart. We need to be able to sift through that which we know is truth and that which we're, we're not sure about. Because like a city of those no walls, all of this negative fear and danger can be so destructive in our heart, in our life. And so uh, uh, just wanted to share that, those thoughts with you this morning. Wanted to have prayer with you here. Just remind you, uh, uh, check with your church folk. Make sure everybody's doing okay. And uh, for those who have... Uh, people in your own household the other day, I kind of challenged you, uh, number one, to take some special time to be with the Lord, uh, and number two, do an act of kindness uh, for those in your home, uh, and then number three, uh, spend some time with your neighbors. Uh, the weather is supposed to be nice today, later on, and maybe you can have some time to talk across the fence or something with, uh, with your neighbor. Let me pray with you. Father, we love you this morning. We ask you, Lord, to watch over us and help us to uh, uh, control our life uh, through you and the Holy
Holy Spirit has given us that ability to decipher what is true and what is not true and when to uh, turn our head and when to close our mouth and, and uh, when to accept something or not accept something. And uh, so I ask you, Lord, just to be with us today, uh, be with our church folk, help us individually as we uh, just walk with you during this, uh, this different time. Thank you, Jesus, for your love. and your name we pray. Amen.